Good day folks, in this video I'm making some Delrin feet and I'm making three parts from a single blank holding it in the air chuck in my CNC lathe. As it says there the black disc is to minimize the wastage it just pushes the part out a little bit further into the jaws. I had to use emery tape to hold it in place because uh, without it I found that the slot drill was quite capable of pulling the part out from the jaws. This is turning the OD for all three parts. Won't need that tool again until we put the next blank in the chuck. The rest of the machining on this blank is just the parting tool and the slot drill and that's all that's needed to finish them off because the outside's already been turned. That was the simulation in the Windows software. Here the slot drill drills a hole then it pretends it's a boring bar and finishes off the bore the way we want it. When we get to the simulation you'll see that I had to use a drill, there it is, rather than a slot drill because there was no slot drill option in the software. Here's the parting tool facing the part off, then it goes to the other end, does a chamfer and it almost parts off but not quite. And here you can see the simulation of the parting tool doing its thing. breaking off each of these parts by hand because they get damaged far too easily. With the turning of the OD and the making of the first part I get enough time to wander over to my manual lathe and part off the blanks that I need. Doing it here between carriage stops just makes it far easier, it's really quick and simple. And that gives me the blank I need for the next three parts to be made over in the CNC. And now we're back making the second part in the CNC. There's the slot drill again. Does its thing. Face it off. Then cut the chamfer. And part it off. That's just a quick look at the countersink in the hole and now we're straight away back to making the third part. I had a real problem with these parts for some reason I couldn't get the facing off to be flat it was domed all the time even even when I lied and told it not to cut a straight path it still managed to give me a domed face which was really annoying I've never had that happen before. I tried everything different feeds, speeds, all sorts of things. Nothing worked. With all my videos I have a problem getting enough light on the part and here the light is too low and the part is actually in shadow. So I thought not a problem I'll just drill and tap a couple of quarter holes in each end of a rod. Then I realized I actually needed a stud in one end of the rod. Quarter screws are pretty rare at my place but I did manage to find one. Because I couldn't get a flat surface on these things I decided to face them off in the other lathe which I'm doing here. Fortunately I had some soft jaws for the chuck that were just the right size to suit this thing. And there you, when you watch this thing you can actually see the chip is growing from the outside to the inside. You can see here almost, almost nothing to start with and then the chip gets bigger. And that was the only way I could fix the problem. You can see quite noticeably there. When I saw all these bits of scrap in the one container I thought that's a lot of scrap. Now these bits are 17 mil long, the parts are 12 mil and I've got some soft jaws that are 5 mil deep. I really wonder if I can do something with that. We'll just have to see. Thank you for watching.